Welcome back to another video. I hope you're doing really well. Today I thought I could film a what are you in a day video. I'm quite excited about this one because I'm finally in the new kitchen of the renovation that I've been working on for the past year and it's just so nice to be in my own space. I'm not moving all the time so I'm just really appreciating that today. I have been tweaking a few things with my nutrition and since the last what are you in a day video I did go through a gaining phase so it was sort of towards the back end of November and throughout the entirety of December that I was in a good old surplus, which was really needed. I feel like I'd lost a lot of muscle mass from increasing my running distances and not really prioritizing my lifts as much, which is totally fine and normal. And I just felt like, oh, I want to put on a little bit more muscle on my legs and glutes. So that has been where I've kind of been up to and I'm quite happy with where I'm at now. So I want to lose a little bit of overall body fat. So I've recently been tracking again, which has been so necessary because I sometimes find protein can be the hardest macro to get in and that is actually what I noticed the biggest difference in terms of just my whole body composition and how full I am how I feel and that just works really well for me so I'm going to make some breakfast one little tip if you're also trying to increase your protein intake is to try and get as much in with your first meal of the day rather than starting off sort of slow with your protein and then getting towards the end of the day and you're feeling like oh god I've still got so much protein to get in but you're not really fancying having like another protein shake or having to supplement two or three protein shakes a day just to be able to get your protein in and I'd always recommend trying to get as much of your protein from actual food and then obviously supplement with a protein powder but I've definitely gone through phases where I feel like I've been having too much of that and then just feeling like my body just doesn't agree well with loads of ultra processed foods added if that makes sense and that's why for my breakfast I'm going to make my protein oats and then also my eggs on the side I quite like this because you've got a bit of sweet and savoury and I just find this super easy to digest oats are obviously your slow releasing carbs so energizing and I don't feel like it's too heavy on my stomach this is what I'll have before I go and train I've got an upper body session coming up today which I'll bring you along for also had my greens this morning my little bribe to myself is to have my greens before my coffee which works well it's a murder on the dance floor you better not kill the groove I haven't even watched Saltburn, but I'm hearing that song everywhere at the moment. It's been weeks now, hasn't it, with that song? How cute, what just little containers, by the way, with my oats in. It's the little things like that for me that make my day. Here is my gym outfit of the day. I've got these like bluey kind of dark green leggings, and then I've got the matching sports bra underneath, and I really like these long sleeve crop top type things at the moment. I trained glutes yesterday, and I could barely get out of bed this morning. Like usually it's day two for me I don't know what was going on today but I did some reverse lunges with the barbell and Jesus Christ I could feel them so much in like all my sort of upper glutes so definitely going to be doing more of them this is a random hack, but I actually find if you add a little bit of water to your milk in the oats, they expand a bit better and don't take like quite as long to cook. Of course, I know something so random like that. Into the microwave. And then whilst our oats are in the microwave, you can mix up your eggs if you remake this. So I'm using one large whole egg. and then the rest egg whites. You could also pop your egg yolks in like a glass container and into the fridge and use in any other recipes if you want to reuse them. So 
So literally in here on its own is 28 grams of protein. Like how easy is that to get your protein in, which isn't a shake. So one egg and then about six large eggs. You could also buy those cartons of egg whites, just whatever you find easier. And then I just like to add a bit of some sort of seasoning so that it's flavorful. I do think egg white on its own is just like, it doesn't really taste of anything. So a bit of pepper, garlic powder, and smoked paprika. And then I'm just gonna put my egg whites on a medium heat and cook them slowly. I think that way they tend to be a bit fluffier. And then I'm adding some vanilla whey protein. blueberries, a bit of mixed seeds and some pistachio butter. I'm literally obsessed. This is the best nut butter ever. And a little bit of cinnamon. And then I just put ketchup over the top of the egg white. So that is my breakfast. I don't think I could ever get bored of this and quite a nice combo, especially if you are trying to get your protein in and your goal is to maintain as much muscle whilst losing fat. And it's a lot of volume, isn't it really there? Like that looks like a hefty meal. gonna fill out my gratitude prompts. I've been doing this daily and if I ever forget I just make sure even if I'm driving somewhere just to literally think what are three things that I'm truly grateful for today. I promise you if you've always kind of thought oh that's a bit woo woo for me or when would I have the time to do that. I can't tell you how much a difference it makes just in how you feel in your positivity and just your outlook on your days because gratitude is literally one of the most powerful emotions and sometimes I will get actual goosebumps when I just like tune into like, God, I'm so grateful for this. I'm so grateful for that, which is quite nice. And I'd heard, it was on a podcast I was listening to recently. I think it was Ali Abdul that said, I'd wrote it down. Five minutes of gratitude journaling has the same impact as doubling your income. How wild is that? <laughs> So definitely keeping this up. What has been one of my favorite little routines in the morning as well is having this book out in the kitchen or just wherever I am and literally opening to a random page. And I feel like that page is what I need to read that day. I love books like that, that aren't necessarily ones that you read the whole thing, but you can just flick to and from. So I've just opened this page. Focus on what is yours alone. And then they're just like meditations and things on wisdom, perseverance. So here is my back day workout. Your girlie is working on her pull-ups at the moment. So of course, starting off with lat pull downs and increasing the weight, then moving into eccentric chin-ups. These are amazing. And I actually recommend these more than using an assisted band pull-up. And then into some single arm work. I think this really helps with getting that mind to muscle connection and just being able to really feel the muscle that you're working. And then some rear delt work. I have really noticed some rear delt gains. I feel like I had slacked on my back workouts last year and these are some of my favorite exercises at the moment that are super enjoyable as well. Then I finished off with 25 minutes on the Stairmaster. I've been finding it harder at the moment to get my steps in on days that I'm at my laptop. So this is just really helping. I just got home from the gym and I got a quick shower, got changed. I got changed back into activewear, but obviously a fresh set. I just live and breathe activewear, I feel like at the moment. I was gonna put jeans on, but I just, I don't like sitting in jeans, I think, in the day. I'm just so used to wearing leggings or something comfy at this point. I trained back and rear delts, and then I actually did 20 minutes on the Stairmaster to finish. Reason being, it's not a run day or anything today, and with it getting dark, I'm just struggling to get my steps in, especially if I'm sat working from home which I will be doing this afternoon so just makes sense to get my cardio in at the gym and I can either do or what I'll usually do is like 10 minutes on the treadmill before my workout or I'll either do like 30 40 minutes just walking on the treadmill or I'll do 20 minutes on the Stairmaster just makes it a bit more easy and manageable rather than having like 10,000 steps to do at blowing six o'clock when it's pitch black that is one of my things I'm keeping consistent so my steps between eight to 
to 10,000 a day and then I'll do my workout. If I'm going on a run, I won't do my additional steps. Otherwise I would just be basically working out the entire day, I think. I'm gonna make one of my chicken nourish bowls. These are perfect for lunch to either prep so you could take it to work the next day or even make it dinner time and just make like batch it so that you can have it for your lunch the next day. So I used sweet potato yesterday and just cooked two big large chicken breasts and then obviously had one yesterday night for dinner and then I've got some leftover which I could have today. But I'm going to show you how to make it fresh so that you've got the recipe and then I've also got veggies in here but this just saves so much time and you can just take it on the go. I'm also going to have my beetroot berry wellness shot. These are perfect if you need a little bit of extra immune system support. And this has got coconut water, blueberries, beetroot, does make your teeth go all a funny colour though, but really, really nice. Some garam masala. So I'm going to do a, like a curried chicken. A little bit of curry powder. A little bit of onion powder. You already know what's coming next. Some garlic powder in there. And the trick is to use a little bit of extra virgin olive oil. I just think this makes it a little bit more juicy. And then this is what saves you getting really messy, but you can just mix it around. Just make sure they're all well coated. And just try to spread them out as much as you can. The trick is not to cook it on too much of a high heat. 190, about 25 minutes, and obviously just check it halfway to turn it around. I'm going to use what I've got in my last pepper, some white potatoes, and then an onion. I've also got out some balotti beans, potatoes in two wedges. You could also do all this in the oven as well. It just takes a little bit longer. So a drizzle of extra virgin olive oil. Seasoning wise, I'm using some oregano, Italian herb seasoning, some pink Himalayan salt and pepper. If you feel like they dry out in the air fryer, you might just need to add a drop more oil. I'm going to do 200 degrees as well. I like it when they're just sort of softly cooked through. And when you're about halfway with the chicken, I'm just gonna turn this around like that. I'm actually gonna turn that temperature down. And when the potatoes are about halfway, just slide in our peppers and onions. And next, I'm gonna make a little single serve. That tap, I can't say it. I knew I was gonna do that tzatziki sauce. So you want to grate some cucumber, fat-free Greek yogurt. I don't have too much of this left about 44 grams of Greek yogurt, grated garlic, a little bit of parsley, some fresh mint, and a little bit of dill, and then half lemon juice, and then just mix that around. You could obviously make like a bigger version, but didn't have much yogurt left. Okay, now to assemble the bowl. So our beans. How nice these have turned out. Okay, it's a little bit later on. I can't believe it's actually dark. You know when you feel like you just glance up and a minute ago it was light and it's fully pitch black? I've just made a little snack. I'm just gonna add my toppings. But I've got a chopped up apple and some orange. And then I've just melted some dark chocolate. It's actually my first day of my time of the month. So I'm really craving some dark chocolate actually. And then on each rice cake, some pistachio butter and drizzle some dark chocolate. So I'm just gonna drive to the supermarket because I had a packet of sausages. What else did I have? An onion, I literally don't really have anything in the fridge. I'm actually fancying like a linguine for dinner or some sort. So that is the plan. I'm gonna put on a really nice playlist. I'm really trying to not glamour, what's, it's not glamorize my life. I keep saying glamorize my life, but it's not that. It's romanticize, romanticize my 
life because it's all it's the small moments that make the difference is this a quote am i saying it's the small moments that make a difference it's how you talk to yourself it's all of that stuff i'm really missing mason today he's in manchester we'll be reunited at the end of this week but yeah i'm just vibing solo tonight one really amazing hack for any fitness goal or nutrition is obviously preparation so i didn't practice what i've been preaching to myself and to everyone else which is to schedule your food shop for the beginning of the week like each week you can do one that's just um, a consistent schedule like it runs but I just do it on a Sunday usually for Monday morning and I missed it this week which is why I'm not prepared right now but it's fine I could just drive to the supermarket as well but it does really help it just saves that time and thought especially when you're busy like my life this week I don't know about you I just feel like it's going at a million miles per hour and I'm just taking each day as it comes okay let's put on good chill playlist <laughs> Can confirm my music taste is the most random stuff how did we go from <laughs> bad bunny to drake to no not bad bunny to i'm every woman to drake love that for me let's go get some linguini oh is this like an asmr some linguini no it's definitely not click clock why am i clicking like that Okay, I'm gonna make a prawn and chorizo linguine. This is super easy and packed with flavor. So you want to get your pan out, 30 grams of chorizo on a medium heat, and dice half an onion, and then mince one whole garlic clove. And once you see these oils start to be released, we're gonna add a full pack, so 150 grams Ooh. of prawns and then also the garlic and onion oh my gosh this smells unbelievable next we are adding 35 grams of the lightest cream cheese five grams of tomato puree the juice of one whole lemon and then a little dash of milk So we've got 75 grams of raw pasta in there. I've just got like a tagliatelle. You could also just use whatever you've got in the cupboard. I'm just gonna drain the pasta, but keep some of the pasta water. Add about a teaspoon of parsley, a teaspoon of basil, and a little bit of chili powder. Got lemon juice. And then you can just add a little bit of the pasta water. It goes to a nice consistency, but whatever is your kind of preference. And that is ready. And then just a little bit of coriander on top. And that is my dinner. Can we just take a moment, please? Let me know if you give this one a try. Honestly, so, so good. I'm gonna put a bit of broccoli on because I forgot to add this in. This is what I had from last night. Just a bit of green something something. And then I'm gonna have some kombucha. It's a bit of an acquired taste, but I absolutely love it. Especially this one, raspberry lemonade. just made my Greek yogurt bowl. So this is Greek yogurt, a little bit of protein powder, mainly for the flavor, and some cinnamon. And then, oh my gosh, I've been obsessed with this. It's a dark chocolate orange and almond little mini square. So I'm just gonna sit and chill and relax. And yeah, that wraps up today's video. I hope you got some high protein recipe inspo from this video. Definitely tag me in any of your recreations on my Instagram so I can reshare them. And I just want to say thank you for your support if you haven't already i would love you to stick around by subscribing and if you could do me a favor make sure you've hit that like button i appreciate it and i appreciate you so much and i can't wait to see you in the next video